All right, hey guys. This is Ruin, and I'm going to explain you how to get rid of the Ucash police virus. Uh, this can be uh, from Belgium, much anywho. Yeah, pretty much anywhere where you are in the world, you can get this, and it's called ransomware. It's a type of virus, and it's pretty easy to delete. Uh, last time I saw on, on on Facebook there was this guy having this problem, and everybody told him to format his PC. Obviously, those children telling telling him to format his PC don't know for sh you know what I'm going to say. Uh, don't know anything about computers, and this is actually a lot a lot easier to fix than you might think. Now that police police virus what it actually does is it's implanted on your computers without you knowing it and it booted itself because it's a program uh, because it's a program it can also be planned inside your boot sector of your windows this can be windows xp windows 7 windows vista doesn't matter it can boot from the moment you boot your computer that's why the first first few seconds that's why the first few seconds you can still use your computer and then suddenly it will boot because your computer does not have the boot priority for your virus uh... so what you get is you get to use it for a few seconds and then suddenly BAM you get it you can open task manager you can you open task manager but you cannot close anything eventually it disappears um, you can change back to uh... to your desktop you 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 pretty much can't do anything. You're completely blocked. Now, <laughs> this is very easy to fix. Um, obviously, I I used to have this virus at one moment, but I don't have it anymore, and it's quite easy quite easy to fix. So I'm just gonna tell you what to do, and I'll show you where to where to delete it. Now, <laughs> there might be like 75% chance that 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 file will be there uh, if there are more users on your computer those users won't have any problems with their with their user account because that exe file that executable is not implanted on their users channel only yours so and that's that's pretty dumb if you are an administrator you cannot fix it um well you cannot fix it while going into the normal mode so what you do is you force shut down your computer so you even though what the hell is this so you press the power button of your computer and you hold it until your computer just completely shuts down if you need to you can even just pull the plug just something to cl shut down your computer in a way it's not supposed to be shut down alright now what you need to put it back on and you need to wait until you get a screen of uh, boot manager and it will give you four options safe mode safe mode with command prompt safe mode with networking possibilities and then normal mode what you need to take is safe mode just with your arrows up and down choose safe mode press enter on your keyboard to activate it and then your windows will be starting to load the basic programs to run in safe mode this doesn't include the virus that has been implanted on your computer so this makes it very easy for you to fix it just open up your safe mode let it load until it's open uh... just type in your password and everything lock yourself in until you get your desktop now your desktop will look pretty ugly because it's safe mode okay resolution is completely effed up and yeah it, it it's not beautiful at all but i mean it's safe mode who cares if you, you don't have anything to search in safe mode unless there's something wrong so just use safe mode for a minute or two and you're done so what you're going to do is you're going to open up computer and you're going to go to your uh, to your boot your boot disk in my case uh, local disk C uh, you guys will probably also have just your C drive it might be called boot or OS or whatever the partition is called the, the disk itself is called C so just enter in that one 
then you should have a folder called users those are your users directory er everything about your um, your videos and music and everything will be stored in there as you see size larger than 229 gigabytes that's normal so let's just open up that and then what you should be opening is the the folder of uh, the folder of the account on which the, the folder of the account on which you have the problem now probably if you have the problem you will only have one account on on your computer so it will be there automatically so just in my case need to click Martin because that's that's where I that's the administrator and that's where I pretend that the virus is so go in here and then right here right here you will have an exe file and it in my case it was called 0 0.6768235 lots of random numbers just after each other of course an executable and it's only a few kilobytes large because it's it's a simple program it's just effing up your computer and so it's it should be added because you see date modified it should be added on the day which you got which you got the virus in my case it was not that long ago it was uh, the 20 the 21st yeah it was the 21st that it got added um the 21st of uh of July so you search 21st of July if if the date corresponds and your time is also correct when you when the, the virus got activated and it booted at that point you know alright this is the program that has been bugging my computer so what you do is for example let me just add a file don't do this it's just for the sake of it for example like virus and uh, okay so it will be like this kind of thing yeah but with lots of numbers dot exe it, it's an application of course and it's few kilobytes it will be added on as I said it will be added on the date and time which you got the virus so what you do is you find it click it once and press shift delete on your keyboard and then just press yes and there you go you got rid of your file now this makes your computer be unable to boot a program of course because the program does not exist anymore on your computer and if you downloaded the file if you downloaded an illegal file or something uh, which is the cause of you getting that virus you can still use that file most probably if you most probably that file will be useless because otherwise there won't be any virus with it but if the file is good like for example a movie or something you can still use that movie and your you got rid of the virus so you didn't you didn't edit anything of your computer you just did this I saw other people um, I saw other people like uh, make a bootable disk of Kaspersky and uh, like fix it, fix it with the command prompt of your Windows 7 uh, of your Windows 7 disk that's not needed at all just go here and delete it <laughs> I'm not sure if this is if this works for every country but I know it does in Belgium because I am in Belgium and this works for sure um, so just shift delete delete it it's gone close everything and then shut down your computer restart it in normal mode of course log yourself in and you got rid of the virus because the path does not the path does not correspond anymore to that file because the file doesn't exist anymore so the the file has now been deleted out of your Windows 7 boot which uh, of course makes you not have this virus anymore so I uh, I hope you guys uh, found this helpful if you if you guys fix this problem by using my method please share it with other people because I would be glad to help them too if you have any problems just personal message me on YouTube um, if you need any translations or something um, ask me uh, in Dutch of course <laughs> um, and um, yeah that's about it just share like drop a subscribe I don't care um, 
if it works, it works, and I'm glad to help you. So I hope, uh, I hope you guys like this. Goodbye.